Each of us, in one way or another, has been gifted with authority. How do we exercise this gift knowing that God is the ultimate giver of all authority? Love and blessings, I am Sister Didi Alarcon of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant, all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The three readings of this Sunday's liturgy are linked together by the theme of authority. Priestly authority in the first reading, apostolic authority in the second reading, and teaching authority in the gospel. Since God is the ultimate honor of all authority, the people to whom he delegates authority act as his representatives. They are supposed to exercise power in the name of God, and in doing so, reflect to their subordinates God's benevolence and care. The first reading and the gospel portray authority as abused and misused. God himself rebukes the Old Testament priests for failing to keep his ways. Jesus cautions the crowds regarding the lack of integrity of the scribes and Pharisees who teach only with words but not with life. It is the Apostle Paul who offers the best interpretation of delegated authority as an exercise of stewardship an investment of self in the care of God's people. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to understand that in whatever capacity we exercise authority, we are mediators of the goodness and love of God. Amen. Lord, my Creator and Redeemer, I believe that in your justice, you established purgatory for those souls who pass into eternity, before having totally paid their debts of sin or punishment. I also believe that in your mercy, you accept suffrages, particularly the holy sacrifice of the Mass for their relief and liberation. Stir up my faith and infuse in my heart sentiments of pity toward these dear suffering brothers and sisters. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, 
and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, through the intercession of Mary and all the saints, free the souls of the faithful departed from the punishments of purgatory. And through the intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, guide them to the holy light promised to Abraham and to his descendants. I offer you, Lord, sacrifices and prayers of praise. Accept them for these souls and admit them to eternal joy. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, good Master, I plead with you on behalf of the souls toward whom I have a greater debt of gratitude, justice, charity, and family bonds, parents, brothers and sisters of the Pauline family and relatives. I recommend to you those who had greater responsibilities on earth, priests, religious, civil authorities, superiors. I plead with you also for forgotten souls and for those who were more devoted to the Divine Master, to Mary, Queen of Apostles, and to St. Paul the Apostle. Lord, deign to admit them soon into eternal happiness. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Divine Master, I thank you for having come down from heaven to free us from so many evils by your teaching, holiness, and death. I plead with you on behalf of the souls who are in purgatory because of the press, motion pictures, radio, and television. I have confidence that these souls, once freed from their sufferings and admitted into eternal joy, will supplicate you on behalf of the modern world, so that the many means you have granted us for elevating this earthly life may also be used as means of apostolate and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Merciful Jesus, by your sorrowful passion and by that love which you have for me, I beg you to cancel the punishments which I deserve in this life or in the next because of my many sins. Grant me, Lord, a spirit of penance, purity of conscience, hatred for every deliberate venial sin, and the disposition is necessary to gain indulgences. I resolve to help the holy souls in purgatory with suffrages as much as I can, and you, infinite goodness, infuse into my soul ever greater fervor, so that, when my soul is separated from the bonds of my body, it may be admitted into heaven to contemplate you forever. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen.